Let's speak further about this with political analyst Professor Lisiba Defo. A very good evening to you, Prof. Thank you so much for speaking to us. I think it's important to start off with what the former president was saying. There is no contradiction, he says, between a member being a member of the ANC and Mkonto Wesizwe, but he is now talking about a party called Mkonto Wesizwe that has registered uh, to contest the elections. How do you understand this playing out? <laughs> Well, uh, it's a very, very interesting uh, development indeed, perhaps far below the expectations and consistent with the chess master uh, 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 we have come to know him. I think very clever, wily move he has taken today. He said a lot without saying anything. I am leaving, but at the same time, I am also not leaving the party. In my view, it is all about coming even with those that had him yesterday, with those who were part of his um, coterie of beneficiaries, who at the 11th hour ditched him to a point where he nearly left, lost the benefits of office and he reluctantly had to resign. That's my first point. The second point, He's an angry man who feels like the Zondo Commission was about him. He's an angry man who feels Ramaphosa took him to court. And found in this party, he says, I am not leaving the ANC. I'm just doing this to save the ANC. And Becky said, I will not campaign for this party that is known to be led in certain areas by criminals. So what is wrong if I say the same thing? Two, you are saying to me, why is a contradiction in terms to say I am a member of this party? I, I am the M member of the Communist Party and a member of the ANC. What's wrong with people who form a new party but, but still remain members of the ANC? Therein ra lies the rap. We, 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 I, I'm, I'm watching the space with great interest and how that's the, the spot, ANC is going to rank itself. Uh, Puff, that's the spot I would also like to rub further or rub in, gain clarity because um, we've heard the Secretary General of the ANC really saying they're going to take this matter to court, that Umkonto Wesizwe belongs to the ANC, that if people want to leave the ANC, they're welcome to do that. Mm -hmm. As you said, former President Jacob Zuma says, I will die a member of the ANC, but he says uh, he has sanctioned the formation of this party called Umkonto Wesizwe, and certainly he says voting for the ANC will be a betrayal, suggesting to me that he will vote for this other party, which can not remain part of the ANC if it's registered as a, a separate entity. Am I wrong in that understanding? Yeah, you, you, you may be wrong. You have the SACP that is registered as an independent party is even, even uh, com, uh, being part of the ANC. That, that, that's, that's, that's one part. The other part is the one that says um, I will not campaign for this, I will campaign for this, though I remain a member. A contradiction in terms. But he's trying to push the people to a point where they have to engage what is the status quo. He's a, he has got dual membership, SACP, ANC. And the, the two belong together. And the people that he's bringing on board, or they are coming on board, are also members of the ANC. Now, how are you going to kick them out of the ANC is another process. But going to the logo or to the name, the name is associated with, but it doesn't belong to the ANC. What am I saying? Yesterday, we had the name Bafana Bafana. One clever fellow patented that, and we had to go cap in hand begging him to give back the name to the nation. So even this one has the ANC patent this the name MK. I suspect the answer mm. is no. Therefore, I'm they are not going to win even if they go to court. And Prof, I'm listening yes. to you very carefully because you say 
I am yes. wrong in my assumption, and yet you say it is a contradiction. You might be. You might be. Okay. Not, you, not, you are not wrong. Okay. You might okay. Be. So I just want to okay. understand. So I might be wrong, but at the same time, it's yes. a contradiction in terms. I'm trying to get yes. greater clarity yes. on this. Contradiction to me says speaks to inconsistency. It says it possibly is an antithesis of something. So uh, uh, Jacob Zuma, as a former president, talking about the character of the ANC now and how it's completely contrary to what uh, their forefathers were, both in character and suggesting even in the pedigree of the leadership that is there. So that's one thing to say. But you will remain a member of this organization. You will die a member of this organization Good. that you're so critical of that you say to people voting for this party, it would be a betrayal. Yet at the same time, you endorse the finding of a party called Mkonto Wasizwe, which is historically known as an arm of the ANC that you would possibly vote for? Yes. That, that, that's why I say it's going to be very interesting how they wrangle themselves or they whittle themselves out of this. The, the linguistics, yes, we can, you and I can play around with, right? Mm. But the bottom line is you heard Masima, um, Masima yesterday say, I'm walking out only to come back. After having given us an expose of the rot that is rampant and endemic in the party, but he has decided to go back to it. You have Tabombeki consistently and, and consistently and persistently in the past two years bemoaning what is happening in the party, but remaining there. You may want to say to me, but why don't they leave? Maybe, like he said, Mbeki saying that, but stopping there, I'm saying it. But because I want to rescue the party, I'm sending this at least shock to the party that might bring them to some reflection that may lead to some cleansing that may save or redeem the party. Okay, so here's another thing that I'd like you to speculate on, Prof. Uh, President Jacob Zuma yeah. says at this point, uh, they're not going to make any announcements on leadership positions that, uh, and the party list that that will be done next year. Can you speculate on who might be part of uh, that leadership or party list? Would there be people within the party? And is this what the warning shot is about? Do what I want you to do or apologize or at least um, try and ameliorate the situation. Then maybe I won't take as many people from inside the party. Or will it be filled with more new faces? Look, for me, what is even more pertinent that precedes the question you are raising is what he said. Why do they choose not to go public with the names? Because mm. the judiciary is captured and uh, the media is captured. That for me is a critical point to engage and to reflect on. Because if you want to take this country forward, we must be brutally frank with ourselves and engage such questions as he's putting forward. The personalities are of no consequence to me. The country is on its knees and everybody and anybody who thinks he's somebody thinks he can be a president. Hence, you have over mm. 400 political parties registered. In the past two years, we have had more than 20 or 30 political parties and everybody says, I'm a possible head of state or I can redeem the situation so and I, yes for and me I take this the point career is yes i take the point and i want to okay. follow up on it prof so you're saying that is the more pertinent question so is he suggesting yeah. that uh, these uh, entities or um, organizations or um, you know uh, as we're talking about these outfits are able to actually derail what is a progressive uh, discussion and even sway the people that he says they're holding underground talks with? Look, um, in uncomplicated terms, those that came on board in the past 20, 22 years, right? Big names or small names, I don't care. But I don't think, uh, until, an, uh, until they form one united block, 
they are not going to unseat the ANC. I have no doubt it will get anything below 50, right? But it will still have enough to cobble a coalition with the smallest of parties that would still give it immense influence. Why am I saying this? By far the majority of the parties founded, they pretend to be opposed to the ANC, but they are willing to go in coalition with them simply because they are careerists, they are opportunists, they are seeking to be embraced, to be at least assimilated or accommodated. They, are, they have nothing to do with the other but with the self. They are not about the public. They are not public spirited. Hence, I'm saying, yes, in, I, I do say the ANC will still at least have some sway, but in a transformed way mm. or transformed manner. Prof, thank you so much for your time and sharing your thoughts with us. Much appreciated, Professor Lisiba Defoe.